a first of its kind program right here in Rhode Island aims to help young victims of abuse with therapy dogs. Eyewitness News reporter Michaela McDonald joins us with more on this groundbreaking initiative new at 530. She's only a puppy now, but this therapy dog has already begun helping children who are victims of crimes. Meet the newest member of Cranston's police department and Hasbro Children's Hospital, therapy dog Callie. The dog will be there to um, greet the victims from the time they come to the police station all the way through the process, including up to courtroom testimony. Callie will split her weeks between the police department and hospital with Detective Michael Iacone and Dr. Christine Barron. The goal, to help foster open conversations with children who have been the victims of physical or sexual abuse. Children often struggle emotionally after traumatic life experience, and dogs are incredibly therapeutic. Anyone that has a dog or any type of pet knows that, providing an amazing sense of comfort to children and their families during the critical times of crisis. On hand for her introduction were officers Donut and Clarence from the Greenfield, Massachusetts Police Department, who travel the nation as comfort dogs after tragedies from Newtown to the Las Vegas shooting. Labradoodle Callie is just 13 weeks old, but has already started her important work meeting with several child victims. It's hard enough getting children to come in here who have been uh, victims of these traumatic experiences to talk to us, to, to feel comfortable, to feel safe when they come to a police station. So it's just one more tool that we can use. They come here. They sit up in our, uh, our interview rooms and they, Callie just sits in their lap. They, uh, they just pet her and they just, they just relax. We're told that philanthropic funding helped to pay for Callie's new role. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.